uh, and Marty Kessler um, wrote a nice uh, review article in 20, last year. He said, one size does not fit all. So term, late preterm, but normal lungs, initial tidal volume is 4 to 4.5 ml per kilo, initial PIP limited to 18 centimeters, uh, babies with RDS, again, you have to use a little higher pressure, allow higher pressure. Tidal volume is the same, but allow the machine to use higher pressure. In 700 to 1249 grams, you actually have to use a little higher tidal volume, like 4.5 to 5 ml per kilo. Uh, it's really tiny babies, so 700, less than 700 grams. Your initial setting of the tidal volume could be as high as 6 ml per kilo. Preterm baby with BPD, you have to use high tidal volume, 6.5. Term meconium aspiration, uh, 5.5 to 6. Meconium aspiration with complete whiteout chest X-ray. Uh, babies look like RDS or ARDS, then use small tidal volume. You have to allow higher pressure. CDH, we talked about it, and you don't want the PIP to be more than 24. Severe BPD here, remember this, even in a volume guarantee mode, we talk about volume trauma. In a babies with BPD, you cannot ventilate the baby with six or seven ml per kilo. Sometimes you have to use very large tidal volume, 12 ml per kilo because of the significantly increased alveolar and anatomical dead space and lower respiratory rate because the time constant is prolonged. Therefore, you want to use rates of 20, not 30, 40, 50. You want to use an I time, for example, 0.8. Um, a rate of 20. I'm talking about babies with BPD. And if you're using volume control or volume guarantee mode, you may have to use 10 or 12 ml per kilo. So tidal volume setting depends on the size of the baby, a postnatal age of the baby, and what this is. Are you treating RDS? Are you treating diaphragmatic hernia? Or are you treating BPD? If you're treating RDS, 4 to 5 ml. If you're treating diaphragmatic hernia, 4 ml. If you're treating BPD, anywhere from 7 to 12 ml per kilo. So unfortunately, you cannot use just one target tidal volume for these three totally different pathophysiology in babies.